Thank you, uh, Chair President. Uh, Minister, rents are gone crazy for those who are trying uh, to rent, as if you don't know already. This simply traps people who are renting uh, and paying huge rent. They won't be able to afford to buy a home uh, for themselves. The national standard average rent is €1,352, Minister. So now you understand that there's a family or a couple trying to rent um, a property at 1,352, they'll never be able to own their own homes. They're tied into this trap, the system, which is terrible. And people have lost their homes due to scrupulous banks as well, who have been uh, unwilling to work with them. Vulture funds is the clever way out for these banks. But the, these vulture funds have ruined many people's lives. And these people who wanted to pay, uh, who, when they could afford to pay, but could not, maybe uh, went through a difficult time in their lives and were uh, squeezed uh, out of their homes, which is shocking to say the least. This has forced more and um, more uh, people onto social housing are happy, leaving tens of thousands either being fleeced or simply on the edge of being homeless. Our rural independent group have put forward ways out of this mess for people um, who, who sought, sought a home or sought uh, some place to live. We have looked uh, for grants and tax relief in our budget submissions for living over the shop, living in lovely towns and villages throughout the country, uh, rebuilding some of these rural communities. But instead, the government are heaping more misery on the ordinary woman or man who work tirelessly day in, day out. I see it first in, in my own constituency clinics every weekend and on my phone during the week. They are tired and they are angered, Minister, of the inaction of successive governments. And for those who are willing to try and turn things around and not be a burden on the state, you are creating more pressure on them by making sure policies in here are written up to prevent people from getting simple planning permissions in their homes. I know people who want to live in small timber houses, um, a two bed maybe in the back garden. What about those who want to uh, want and can renovate a shipping container into a home but are prevented in doing so? What about a home on wheels? Another idea that the local authority should cooperate with those uh, who want to develop these small type uh, temporary homes and make sure they are tucked away in private property but instead it is no minister no no and he have absolutely no solutions um, he refused the ordinary hard-working people leaving people confused and angered and leaving them uh, not uh, knowing where to turn and in the last few seconds I have as I often see in towns and villages service sites and that's something that should be talked about too thank you